Hello! Welcome back! We're playing Dwarf Fortress again. Dark Tales. Uh, last time, I think we were about to uh, start trading with the elves. We took care of some business. Um, haven't uploaded the uh, that video yet. I'm recording so I can't really recall what I did. Oh, yeah, we fought, fought off a whole bunch of uh, kobolds. I think, yeah, we did. So uh, I think it's safe now to uh, open the gate. Dwarves get to uh, looting the uh, kobolds and probably. Uh... Ah. Shit. Start the death. I'm probably hauling whatever is left of our livestock into the uh, pasture there. Looks like we're ready to trade. Um, of course, uh, our overseer has decided that he doesn't actually have a job, though he does. Uh, and he's just... Oh, now he's there. Good. Summer has arrived on the calendar. That's, that's nice. Dwarves can uh, have a little party by the ponds. They're, of course, dried up, so... They'll just look into the uh, blood smeared holes in the ground. You know, it's still a sort of a very weird beach party, I guess. I'll trade, a deep, trade at depot, good. We can now trade. Trade some of our excess crap. Uh, be careful not to uh, try and trade anything that's made with plants like pigtail stuff but we can however use this this crap we can't wear large things so we'll use them for trading and we'll create this also obviously plants uh, might, as well, might as well also give, give them the uh, copper toy, toy boat then I will ship will A lot of stuff to trade, as per usual. Guess that's fine, though. Means we are quite wealthy. We have to complain about having too much stuff to trade. <laughs> um, copper bowl. I don't think we're gonna need that either. What's this? Gold figure enough Sigurd dashed, dashed gloves. Uh, dwarf and dwarves and gold. Uh, dashed gloves is surrounded by the dwarves. The other regrets the ascension of dwarf Sigurd dashed gloves to the position of king of the combined barricade in 75. Alright. Alright. We have anything else? Yes, we do. A lot of, a lot of excess stuff. Courtesy of those human traders, I guess. They left, left behind quite a lot of all sorts of crap. Then we'll give them a whole bunch of mugs. That should be enough for pretty much everything they have. We'll buy the all buy all that wood. That'll do. Oh well. 
Let's let's buy it all. Let's go crazy and buy it all. What else? I think we could buy the. Uh, let's buy some cages just for the heck of it, and also buy this giant badger. And all sorts of drinks. Drinks. Strawberry wine with wine. Sewer brew. Wine for spirits. And a couple of buckets. Anything interesting here? No, I don't think so. Uh, so. We'll just trade. They'll get a nice profit out of this. That's fine, because most of the stuff we're trading is completely useless. And we'll get plenty of that stuff anyway. Uh. Pulling Fortress goods were added to the counter offer. Okay, so, well, I guess that's fine then. No, we, we definitely don't want to uh, trade that away, so we'll just give them more clothes. They weren't actually making that big of a profit, I was watching the wrong screen there. <laughs> um. Large giant cock. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Quite immature. Of me, but uh, what can you do? And uh, maybe sell them a. Uh, Gold figurine of Sigun Young Tool. Of the dwarf Sigun Young Tool, the goblin. By the goblin snag. Ah, oh, yeah, this relates to the killing of the dwarf Sigun Young Tool by the goblin snag Flyer Hell. With a couple flail in dike tangles in the late autumn of 127 during the third attempted abduction at dike tangles. Can't remember that, that, but it's good that someone has remembered him. We'll trade this. Seems pleased, good. Won't be needing the trader there anymore. Done. And resume. That's the trading down for this. For this season. A thief has stolen a donkey bone bolt. Well, good luck. Wait for a moment. We're back. We're back. Back indeed. Alright. Fuck! What are we doing? Stupid people calling me. Uh, yeah, can't remember. GG. Uh, oh well. Nothing too important, probably. Uh, so, we'll do it like this. We'll remove this zone. And plunk down two zones. A pen pasture. And assign the badger to that. Where is the badger? down another zone here and we'll put the skunk on that one we won't fight usually but the badger should be enough and the uh, 
skunk is there just to provide some additional security so that nothing nothing can now creep past them uh, without stepping right next to them which will lead to them being uh, discovered what we could do now is we could start building a uh, a sort of arena for our military to train in and let's see here now this is not a good spot for that um, down here is gonna be the uh, place definitely So, we'll expand this corridor, I guess, a bit, somewhere here, and the training arena will, will, uh, be here so let's make a uh, 11, 11 by 11 room I think now let's make a uh, 12 by 12 so means that probably do like this so one two three four five six seven eight Be like this and uh, no we can't make it symmetrical that if we do that and uh, things being symmetrical is a very important thing so let's just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. That'll do. Put in two doors. This will basically be the uh, dumping area of our arena. And the arena itself will be located down here. So, it won't matter if this is. This turns out to. You know, if it looks like total crap. Because it's just the place where we'll be storing all our prisoners and dumping them down into the arena. Uh, basically, we're making a very efficient uh, way of uh, emptying out invaders from cages and disarming them if we want before that. Clothes makers going crazy with the uh, clothes making. Needs pluma gates. All right. Good luck with getting more of those. Making a lot of coke, probably enough. So we'll just put that off from uh, repeat. And should be enough so we can now make some armor, greaves, gauntlets, and let's make some weapons as well. Make a battle axe and a uh, mace. That should do. Next we'll probably make more anvils, or actually we may have looted some of them, so let's just uh, see if we, uh, where, uh, where's the, uh, could be in furnaces, I guess, no it's not, so it's gonna have to be in workshops, I think, 
Yeah, Melosmith's Forge. F. Plunk it down there. Yeah, we have plenty of iron on anvils. And we'll construct it out of... Uh, rock salt, I guess. And anvils and rock salt. And then we can also uh, make some more furnaces. Melters. One there. Build it out of rock salt and rock salt. Keep up with the uh, general theme of things. And we'll smelt a whole bunch of hematite since we're running out of iron somewhat. Goats and sheep are grazing along with the caves. Gazelles are frolicking around. Everything's peaceful. Haven't seen any uh, big meanies yet, which is a bit of a shame. Oh well. Now we need to carve out the uh, room beneath this one, and so we'll just uh, do it like do it like this. All right. Is it symmetric? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it should be. Good. And then... We'll have to... Uh, let's see here. Make a... Uh, this because this is gonna be the air arena itself and we're gonna have to uh, surround the surround it with so I think it should be fine if we just increase it by one Right, because we need one uh, one space here so we can uh, line them up with archers, because that so that's a pretty good way of training archers. I'm throwing stuff in the pit, and uh, need a uh, way for them to enter the arena, which will be through a. Uh, will be through a uh, race bridge in the middle of so we can just the witches can just uh, give it a little door for now and then we'll bring this corridor around Probably just cut through here and they should do. Yeah, that'll do. 
should be enough. So that's the uh, areas we need to carve out. Plant. We'll just let our miners get to work. Uh, merchants from Mafi Betha will be leaving soon. It's fine. Bemaz, of course, cutting some jewels there. Hopefully not his own. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that just happened. Bad jokes. Like this too. Mo no, no, tomorrow. Needs one iron bars. Yeah, yeah. How are we doing on th drinks? Doing fine. About on cookable stuff. Doing fine on that as well. Can make some delicious pig brain stuff. By the looks of it. Got some brew some drinks. Prepare some loge meals. We had some pig brains in the uh, food food catalog. Must be a pretty delicious dish, whatever they do from it, make from it. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't eat it personally, but maybe that's just me. I'm gonna uh, claim that iron arrow. Struck micro client. All right. Now what what it could do now is. Uh, we we'll start building the uh, outside fortifications a bit. Uh, won't be, won't build them completely yet, of course. But we'll get things started. I'm thinking we're gonna make a sort of a Sort of a small courtyard here. I'm gonna get up to here. I was thinking it real cooler if it connects out to the inner side of the fortress, but I don't think that's the case actually. We want this to this wall to look as smooth as possible. So we'll plunk that there and we'll build it out of the old Out of the old uh, rock salt blocks, ten needed, plenty, and uh, finished up from here. Uh, rock salt blocks. Basically, we'll also be able to close this off with a another gate, so we can. Uh, Send our troops here uh, while the enemy is locked outside, then lock the uh, gate behind them and let our forces duke it out in the courtyard where the archers can also support them more easily without being in danger themselves. More walls. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Should be. Should we should be good if we uh, just build the wall here. Wall here. Some more rock salt blocks. Yep. Some more rock salt blocks. We'll have to make more soon as I mean, while our while our uh, masons complete this um, and one more I think. Right, so that's the uh, basic walls down there. I probably won't build another tower here, although 
think it would be kind of cool if would, if I did build another another tower here. Yeah, let, let's be, let's build another tower here so we can just close this up with the gate. Just build sort of a gate house here. Just a small outside fortification. We'll also expand it upwards eventually so that we can uh, make a more small can secure this area so nothing comes over here and shoots down or through the, here and we'll also plunk a uh, tower up here to sort of overlook the uh, whole place so build construction well it's a uh, 4 by 4 Actually, it's a 5x5. Five five. We might have just enough rock salt blocks for the uh, groundwork. Leave a little hole in the wall. Just so our guys can get in. We're gonna have to uh, take out that as well DT clear out the area so we don't get obstructed and that should get built in a moment or two we'll just place the uh, last bit of wall Limonite, all right, not very, not exciting, not very exciting. Also blocks, and I think we'll be set because uh, one job makes about four blocks. I think M mandate has ended. Uh, good, he got voted down finally. So now Medtop Asasendok is the uh, mayor. We'll give him the uh, luxurious mayor's quarters now. And the imprisoned vampire is now just a imprisoned vampire. Hopefully he won't get re-elected. Shouldn't get because he's locked locked up so he doesn't get to socialize with people because the uh, elections basically go whoever is like the most in the relationships I think at least gets the mayoral mayoral position and so that should be that I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like leave a favorite maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time Bye.